Okay, this is a video training session on how to format copy directly on the Greenscapes website. And um, let's not stall, let's go ahead and get started. First I'm going to plug in the Greenscapes URL. And once we're to the Greenscapes homepage, we'll go ahead and put the word user at the very end of the URL. This should get us to the uh, user login page. All right, great. Now once we're here, just go ahead and plug in your username and password. And as you can see, just like with other tutorials that I've done, um, once you uh, are logged into the site, just look at the top of the screen here and you see this administration menu bar lets you know that you're logged in. You have your content management area where you can view content and pages and create content. Um, but we don't need to worry about that section because if you want to be able to edit a page, all you have to do is simply go straight to that page. So the page that we're going to format today is going to be commercial, services, and the design page. Okay, as you can see, we have our view and edit tabs. Um, right now we're in view mode. And if we wanna edit this copy, um, all we have to do is click on the edit tab. And um, as you can see, the uh, copy that we have in here is a copy that I've copied and pasted from a word processing program. And um, I've pasted this text in as plain text, which means I've already stripped out all of the formatting. And I basically have uh, just regular text that's formatted for paragraphs. So we'll go ahead and click Edit. And once we're in the edit mode, we'll go ahead and drag out our WYSIWYG editor. And just as a reminder, WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. This uh, editor allows you to basically write HTML uh, content without, half, without knowing how to write HTML code. So the first thing um, that I notice whenever I look at this copy is, is that a couple of our subheadlines um, are not separated from their paragraphs. Um, actually, it's one sub subheadline is not separated from its paragraph, and our sample bulleted list headline is not separated from its list items. We have to make sure that there is a full return between the headline and its copy below. Uh, that way we can format the headline and give it a different look. So I'll go ahead and uh, take care of that real quick. I'll put the cursor at the very beginning of this paragraph. Just hit delete and hit return. And we'll do the same thing with this bulleted list. I'll put the cursor right at the very beginning of the very first list item and I'll hit delete and return it. Okay, we'll just go to the top of the page and we'll simply put the cursor right inside of this sample headline one. And we'll go to the formatter toolbar, look through our headings, and we'll give this a heading six. We'll do the same thing with sample headline, sample subheadline two, and we'll give this one a heading six as well. And I'll do the same thing for sample headline three. Okay, and now we'll give our sample bulleted list headline. We'll give this one um, a little bit different of a look. We'll do, um, we'll say. We'll give it a heading five. 
has a, a nice little underline underneath it. Okay, now you can see, now we have our headline format and then we have our paragraph format. Once you copy and paste as plain text, within the WYSIWYG editor, its default is to paste as this paragraph style. So you don't have to worry about formatting your paragraphs unless you want to add, <clears throat> excuse me, unless you want to add bold letters or italics or links as well. Okay, so we scroll down past the sample bulleted list. We have another paragraph, another paragraph, and we have this click here to read more. And I'll show you a quick way to put a hyperlink within a page. To do the hyperlink, we'll just highlight the read more to make just the read more the link button. Once that's highlighted, we'll go up to the toolbar on our WYSIWYG editor and click on this link. It looks like an illustration of the earth with a little chain link on it. And simply type in the URL you want this link to go to. And once you have the URL plugged in, We'll go ahead and click OK. Let's go ahead and check this link and make sure it works. We'll scroll down to the bottom of the page and just press save to save all the work that we've done. OK, once the page has been saved, we can view it. And we'll go ahead and click on this Read More button. Okay, it goes directly to the site that we wanted to go to. The only problem is, is it transfers away from the Greenscapes website. We probably want this to just simply open in a new window so the Greenscapes website stays on. So let's go back a page and let's change this read more link so it opens up our external link in a new window. We'll just click on edit. scroll down. We'll just scroll down within the WYSIWYG editor. Just place your cursor in the middle somewhere of your link. And we'll click on the link button again to edit it. And we're going to click on target and change the target from not set to new window. And now just click OK and we'll save. And before we check to see if our link works, let's take a look at the work that we have done formatting our text and see if it looks right. Well, I do notice there is one thing missing. We didn't put bullets on our list items. So let's go ahead and put bullets on our list items and then we'll check the read more button. Okay, to turn these list items into a bulleted list, just highlight the entire list. And then let's go up to our WYSIWYG toolbar and simply click on this button, Insert Bulleted List. You could also make this a numbered list by clicking on the Numbered List button. You can remove it from being a list by just toggling on and off. But we're going to keep this as a nice bulleted list. All right, everything seems to look pretty good. Let's uh, scroll down and save our page. Take one last look at it, make sure it's formatted correctly and let's check our link. And it opens up in a nice new window so our Greenscapes website doesn't disappear.
And that's the basics of formatting text using the Greenscape's content management system.